Hi, and welcome to part six, healthcare reform, the final section in module one. Given the importance of health and the large cost of healthcare service provision, policies regarding health are of significant national interest. And there's been a lot discussed uh, in the media and with politicians most recently about healthcare reform. So we'll try and touch on some of those issues in this section. As an example of recent Commonwealth policy undertaking, the National Health Reform Progress and Delivery document in 2011 makes the following claims. The Commonwealth Government is making a significant financial investment of at least $16.4 billion in additional funding for public hospitals. The Commonwealth Government will meet 45% of efficient growth funding from July 2014 and 50% of efficient growth from July 2017. A new independent hospital pricing authority will set the national efficient price for public hospital services and will develop a national activity-based funding system. This will ensure that public hospitals are properly funded for each and every service that they provide based on a fair price. It will also mean much greater efficiency in hospital funding than ever before. No more blank checks. This section will guide you through parts of the current Commonwealth Health Reform Agenda. The forward on page one and introduction on pages three and four of the National Health Reform Progress and Delivery Report describe the impetus and strategies for reform and use the following major headings to describe this in more detail. The headings are there in the coloured sections. So proposed funding and greater efficiency, transparency and accountability, waiting time and Medicare locals. Read the material under each heading and answer the questions on the next few slides. Proposed funding and greater efficiency. What is the proposed mechanism for creating an efficient price for hospital-based services? Transparency and accountability. What is the proposed mechanism for creating transparency in the national public hospital funding? How is the establishment of local hospital networks proposed to support community needs? And what role is the My Hospital website proposed to play in promoting healthcare accountability? Waiting times. What are the proposed targets for emergency department treatment times? What are the proposed mechanisms for primary care service improvements? And how will the above mechanisms improve public hospital service delivery? And finally, Medicare locals. What are Medicare locals and how do they support better integration of the general practitioner and primary health care services? What I'd like you to do here for Medicare Locals is access the conversation blog called Everything You Need to Know About Your Medicare Local But Didn't Know to Ask and have a look at the Medicare Locals webpage to help you answer this particular question. This was the final section of Module 1. We'll now move on to Module 2 and focus on the topic related to patient-centred care.